Hey everybody, Little Miss Wartooth here. Today I'm doing a review of Dragon's Musk. Dragon's Musk is part of the Ars Draconis line by Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Um, this line was is all dragon's blood based, so everything in it has dragon's blood resin. Something that's kind of cool about it is that dragon's blood is super like complex, and each addition of like different other notes to it really changes you know how it smells and brings out you know either the cherry sweetness or the dark resinous smell so that's been that's a pretty cool thing about you know dragon's blood if it's you know something you enjoy you'll love this line if it's something that you're kind of eh you can probably find something you like so do check it out um there will be a link to the uh to the page that you can buy it on in the box down below. Um, I will probably add that to all my other videos. So let's let's get on with it. Um, it is described as dominant, passionate, and devastating. Ooh, so sexy. Um, the notes listed are dragon's blood and five deep musks. In the bottle, it's resinous. A little a weird kind of green sort of herbal ish scent aspect to it but once it gets on your skin um, I find it to be soft sweet and powdery um, not particularly passionate or devastating or dominant um, it doesn't stick stick around very long so that's kind of unfortunate it's it's a very subdued smell, which is odd, because you would think that it'd be a lot more passionate and powerful, but that might just be my skin chemistry sort of eating it. Um, if you liked Dragon's Milk, but it was too femme for you, this is more neutral. It still has like a soft, powdery sweetness to it, but without that like vanilla kind of thing going on. So that's nice for when you're like not in a vanilla mood, or if you're like me and you know, when you put, when I put vanilla notes on my wrists, they end up smelling like wax, like candle wax, so that's not, not great. So if I'm, I'm kind of craving the musky part of dragon's milk, then dragon's musk is pretty nice. Um, public wearability is pretty high, it's not too weird of a smell, it's nice, you know. Uh, the throw isn't very high. Uh, one thing that I do caution is it does not last very long. It lasts like anywhere from half an hour to maybe two hours. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just my skin that just sucks it up, but it's already starting to fade a little bit. So, and I've only been wearing it for like five, ten minutes. <laughs> So not not a lot to say about it because it is fairly linear and you know not terribly complex, but it's it's good if you aren't into um, scents that morph a lot. If you want to like put it on your body and have it smell the the same way the whole time, then Dragon's Musk is your uh, is your scent. Um, I know this review is kind of short, but I hope it still gave you kind of an idea of what to expect from Dragon's Musk. And I, this is, I have one more to do, one more in the Ars Draconis line, so I hope that you've enjoyed it. And next will be the RPG line, so let me know in the comments down below if you're excited about that. Um, that should be happening week after next, so get amped! I hope you enjoy these videos. I hope that, you know, they're not terrible and that you're excited for future ones. Um, I hope the rest of your day is good and that when you sleep, sleep comes quickly to you. All right. Bye.